kind of sad to realize I was never anyone's one to get away. I've only been the guy that was nice to me once, and uh, that's what I need right now, guy. Ah, uh, yes, you know, because if you're posting this, it obviously means nothing you ever did was in the wrong, right? Right? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day, we're going back in r slash nice guys, and if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up some wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, if you want to save 10% with the gamer subs, link down below. Every single time somebody uses the code, we get closer and closer to stuff like shakers and flavors. Uh, you are a W. Oh, which is why I treat you like one, and talk to you like one. No, it's because she said no to wanting to touch it. Understandable. Yeah, I'm sure I, you've been looking for someone to have and a place to work anyways. I haven't, but go ahead and say whatever you want to. Literally, I haven't even started the job search yet. Nah, I was gonna ask you to change, but you never will. Actually considered trying to date and start on a new page. What a moron. We'll start looking into do whatever you gotta do. You were going to ask me to change? Without promoting any change from yourself? Yep, that's exactly what I said. It doesn't matter. LMAO, okay. I have such a hard time getting women. Gee, I wonder if I can lie. Always I have. I get zero women. You already said that. You can get ever right now if you want to. It is easy for women. But all of you ever be as a whole. And you'll hate yourself afterwards. So, uh... Good luck, okay? Oh dang, if only there was some kind of clear indicator that you'd be able to analyze and, you know, learn from, but... Nah, there, nothing like that ever exists. There wouldn't be any reason that you're a petri dish of a human being. Nope, you're the nice guy. That's absolutely all you need to be. You don't need to be a decent human being. You just gotta take that name tag, write nice guy on it, and, you know, slap it on your chest. How women do not go after you really must be... One of nature's mysteries! I will use that clip till the day I die and nobody can stop me at all. Yeah, I took the day off for, for uh, reflecting while I rejuvenate. I've been single for over a year now and recently decided it was time to get back in the game. The other day, in Publix, at a store, I hit on a stranger who seemed like a nice girl. She told me that if she didn't have a boyfriend, she would happily give me her number, and said that she was surprised I didn't have a girlfriend. She was very friendly, actually, and responded well, but considering how the current societal structure is shaped, we both were kind of awkward, because honestly, I felt a bit intrusive or presumptuous for even going there. Then I made a profile here on Facebook dating to see who was available, and a few days later I signed up for Tinder and bought a one-week subscription. When that expired, I made a Hinge account, also paying for a week-long membership. Nice swipe left and decline most options. Occasionally, though, I have sent thoughtful worded messages to would-be candidates for with a mix of sincerity and humor, along with a few super likes and roses to accompany these quasi I love notes. I have even boosted my profiles and prioritized my likes just to become more visible. This has produced zero action and no results. None. Zilch. Nada. I'm not delusional, as I do realize I'm no supermodel, but excuse me for saying this, not even one ugly chick has liked my profiles. I'm beginning to think that these money grab apps are scams, lol. Either that or the women on dating sites in Southern California want to be with sad, weak men, and they shy away from happy, masculine, self-sufficient men. 
I am picky, though, as I'm spoiled and will only date a, a 10, but she also has to be smart. Intelligence is a prerequisite. Also, no poly, bi, or any mental disorders. Since I don't have kids, I'm not interested in dating a parent. I don't smoke and I don't drink, except for a special occasion. I, I guess uh, maybe a holiday, a birthday, or a wedding. I love animals, and I enjoy outdoor activities like hiking or camping, and I stay fit. My favorite thing to do after a workout at the gym is relax in the steam room. I shave my head so my girl can have a nice hair in the family. I'm a pretty decent cook. I live in a new RV, but it is spacious, and I think that it is really nice. Although I am a former homeowner and can qualify to buy a home or could afford to rent an apartment, neither of those options are desirable or seem wise for my lifestyle. So, now I'm wondering, can I find my attractive, young, about 30 to 40 years old, feminine woman who wants a monogamous relationship with a successful blue-collar man that knows how to take the lead and is open to starting a family someday, if that's where the road takes us. Well, folks, wish me luck. Yeah, you included, you are very, very picky on this, so I'm gonna tell you this right now. Good luck, dude. Who <laughs> she thinks I am? This is who I actually am. Okay, I don't know how to talk like All Might, but let's be real, dude is not anywhere near All Mights. I know from my personal experience, I get over 100 messages a day on here. I don't sell content, I have a regular job, and I'm a mom of a larger family. A fair amount of men get angry and send a bunch of messages demanding why I haven't responded. Why should any anyone on here feel entitled to anyone else's time. I send out occasional first messages, but don't worry about it if I don't get a response. Yep, if I had badonkers like yours, I'd get a lot of messages too. For the record, I send out a very cordial email if I don't get a reply. I don't keep sending emails. That said, it's a tale of two different worlds when you are a chick with huge badonkers and a regular guy like me. Blank, I didn't say you did any of that. I stayed what I, that I was going to share what I experienced in my eight years on here. I was trying to explain why a lot of women aren't spending their time responding to all the messages they receive daily. No, uh, understood. I was just explaining how frustrating it is for the average nice guys. The number of guys always outnumbers the number of females. It's a losing battle for us. Hey, bro. Women don't know what they want. What they say they want is the opposite of what they say they want. Uh, the problem is you guys believe women's words instead of their actions. If you don't believe me, try being an emotional man around them and watch them replace you with heartless child. I'm a woman, dude, and I'm telling you, I'd be far more attracted to Gomez Adams over an emotionless dude. Or you, for that matter. Your previous comment screams, nice guy who's turning into an incel. Get some therapy. Touch some grass, and stop blaming women for your bad worldview. You're getting multiple demographics of people mixed up. Are there people that will use a person's emotion against them? Yes. Are there people that are nice guys that are very much toxic petri dishes who just claim to be nice because they want to sleep with women? Yes. Are there women out there that will say something, mean something different, and then get upset when you don't read their minds? Yes. And I've mentioned them many times on r slash nice girls. It's not good. That's not good at all. Toxicity can come in every shape and size. And if somebody uses your emotions against you, then that's not anybody you need to be hanging around anytime soon. You shouldn't force yourself to be around them just because they're a girl or just because they're a guy or just because they're attractive. And also don't spout stuff like this and then get upset when people don't want to be around you. That's just them making the common sense choice of it all. I gave you back your books, so there is no more reason for you to talk to me. No, you're just selfish. Best of luck.
And for the record, I am a lot smarter than you. <laughs> the shit you think you is. I wouldn't expect you to be able to have an intelligent conversation in the first place. My dog's probably smarter than you, and has higher levels of emotional intelligence. I wanted to catch up and see how you were. But obviously, you are miserable and unhappy, and I don't want to be a part of that. Goodbye, Redacted. You take care of yourself. Okay, bye. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye